All right, everyone. So the season finale of Blackish season four just ended, and I'm just more than anything, you all. I'm just so excited that Bo and Dre like. I I was concerned. I was really worried. But before I get into that, let's go ahead and jump into the recap of the season and my review of the season finale. So for me, I thought that the season was really good. Um, I want to say it was probably one of my more favorite seasons than the last three, just because in the past, um, like each episode was like a standalone. Like you didn't have to watch 
like you know how other shows you might have to watch like oh you need to watch this season to understand what's happening in this season and you need to watch this episode you don't have to do that with blackish you literally can just watch one episode and you can decide if you like the show or not you can watch all of season one and then skip to season four um it didn't really have like a storyline outside of like this is the family they are all characters in their cells and then we're going to you know pinpoint a certain thing or topic about each episode i mean um or about each character so but i felt like with season four they really were kind of like trying to pick up on kind of having a continuous storyline this episode we might focus on junior going from private school to public school but the underlying tone was there's starting to be a change or shift in Bo and Dre's marriage right okay so I think that's what I really enjoyed about season four is because that's something if you are not new to my page you know that that's something that's very important to me is like having that connecting storyline because that's what keeps me intrigued all the time that's what makes me want to return because I can put it off and watch the show like later on in the summer if i'm just like oh it's just some shows to watch you know i could put it on in the background and just be like oh it's on but when there's like a story going on that makes me like oh i gotta go home and watch blackish you know what i'm saying and i really felt like season four was doing a good job of that a lot happened in this season we had zoe go off to college and then she had her spinoff with grownish um like i said junior went from private school to public school the twins kind of struggled with not being the babies anymore tackled a lot of important issues we talked about juneteenth um then you had the episode where um talking about like if one of your parents died Bo struggled with postpartum after having uh Devante. and so that was something that was really important i think for us to see and for us to talk about because i think that's kind of like that ugly stepchild that as women we don't really like to talk about now, there was a lot of counseling going on i mean even with her having postpartum and then their their marriage issues and i really like seeing that because you know again something that has stigma is like getting and seeking help and so i really thought that that was important to see um what other issues that we tackled this year um Bo trying to be a superwoman you know working and having the child and just trying to do it all and I thought that that was really great too because this year has been like the year of woman <laughs> and I thought that was an important conversation too because it's like you can have it all but you don't have to do it all like in and showing like you can have a choice like I can take off work if I want to and I can just go be a mother and or I can do both <laughs> and I'm gonna be badass doing it right Zoe and junior having sex junior we tackled the conversation of you know the pwis versus hbcus and i loved how they did that you guys that was probably one of my favorite episodes because i felt like it portrayed the significance of both types of institutions and it really was a true conversation that we have in the black community but it was a more civilized one <laughs> and it was one that had substance to both i just thought overall this is probably one of the best seasons this far and i definitely enjoyed it more these last four episodes you guys i have been struggling like i was just so hurt <laughs> with the direction of the show like i was ready to write a letter like if this season didn't end with them coming back together i was gonna be like dear mr kenya Barris, okay i don't know what you see but what i see is not this and i'm gonna need you to reconstruct this script because my couple has to come back together like dre and Bo is like the only strong hard working got a family and a house and just everything black couple on like cable tv <laughs> so for them to break up i was like no no i don't no like i don't like this like i literally was having like heated conversations on the phone with my boyfriend because i was so mad and like he was just like okay <laughs> but um i was really upset about that i was really upset about it and i i was just like i don't like the direction that the show is going i don't like this but it worked because i felt like it was almost like a trial for them really having that story connection like that consistent story all the way through and it got me like I was like even though I was like I'm not gonna watch it I don't want to see this every week every week I was just like okay so 
like when we went through the whole blue episode i was like i i'm depressed i cannot watch this episode anymore i was just really really hurt by like the direction of it but i do know like a lot of married people a lot of married couples and they were just saying how it's a real thing and it was important to kind of show that because um again it's kind of like the ugly stepchild that nobody wants to talk about you know we don't want to talk about oh what happens when love just isn't enough and i'm just so happy and satisfied that they were able to come together at the end like guys i cried <laughs> i was just so happy that they were able to make up and get back together because <sighs> I just really did it. I, I, I don't know what I would have done if divorce would have been the thing. So, and I found out that her dad passed away. Um, I think that really made them just kind of come back together. And it was just like, even if it's like, what happens when love isn't enough? What do you do when love is what you need? You know, you need that person to be around you and to hold you and to care for you. And then someone loves you enough that even though we're going through something, I can put that to the side and come together and be with you and help you through. Like, so it's like you did it again, Blackish. You did it again because I was ready to be mad. I was so ready to be mad, but you did it again. And I'm happy and I'm excited and I'm ready for season five now. Um, I'm interested to see what's going to happen with Junior being gone. Now you got Zoe gone. Um, well, gone off to college. So now our focus point is going to be, I guess, Jack and Diane, which they're the most hilarious duo I've ever seen on TV. I really think that they should pull like a Jane the Virgin, just like fast forward us to like three or four years. And that way Devante is older, just like they did Mateo. And then Mateo was cute and we were like, oh, Mateo. Anyways, um, I feel like they should do something like that. But in the case that they don't, um, I'm really, you know, excited and interested to see where it goes. And I think with not having so many kids in the house, um, they're going to really have to uh, step up with like that story piece and kind of draw us in with more, um, more things that are going on because, you know, we're not going to act like the kids weren't an important factor of the show and how it went. So, um, but yeah, I'm really, really excited about season five. I'm so excited that they've been renewed for season five. And I'm just so happy that the show ended with them coming back together as a couple and making up and hugging and kissing and loving. And he got to put his shoes back in the closet and everything. Like, I'm just... <sighs> I feel like I can breathe again because I was concerned. I was really, really concerned. So, yeah. All right, guys. So, let me know how you felt about Blackish season finale or the whole season in general. Are you ready for season five? Are you going to keep watching? Or did these last four episodes just kind of like break your spirit with Blackish? Because it almost got me. Let me know. Leave me some comments below. Make sure that you subscribe and turn on your notifications because you don't want to miss any reaction and recap videos from me. It is season finale season. So, the next two weeks, I'm going to be posting left and right. Uh, recapping seasons of everything i'll be back on thursday for station 19 and gray's anatomy season finale <laughs> that's a lot and then the series finale of once upon a time is on friday i'm really excited I'm really sad anyways make sure you turn on those notifications so you don't miss any new videos until then i'll see you guys next time